YouTube, team keep it clean. The same Graven here with another video. And in this video, I'm here to share my post-game thoughts from the game that we all watched together. A lot of us. Shout out to everybody that came through for the live stream. Um, but the game that we all watched between the Ravens and the Jets. And man, post-game thoughts. We've been doing these post-game thoughts videos for like three, four years now. So I appreciate y'all. I, I appreciate y'all a lot. Um, but anyway, let's just... Get right into it because we got a lot to talk about uh, with this first game. Um, overall, uh, the offense, they started slow. The defense, they were holding it down, doing their thing. Uh, special teams, they, they were doing their thing as well. But the offense, just they, they started slow. Um, you did see sometimes when <laughs> there was a lot of guys in the same area, receivers and whatnot. But, hey. This is like an extra preseason game. And I, when I say an extra preseason game, I don't mean that as disrespect to the New York Jets at all. Uh, because they, especially that defense, that, that defense is something serious, man. Um, but I mean that to say that with a lot of the Ravens, the Ravens didn't really play many starters, really any starters in the preseason like that. So with them not having played any starters, this was a lot of their first time all really playing and playing in an actual game and playing together in an actual game. So it was a process. It, it was a process. Um, but now, specifically, getting into the each individual position, start off with Ravens quarterback, Lamar Jackson. Lamar, he came out, um, and he, it's weird because he, uh, his passes early on, he came out and he was on point. Some of, his, some of his passes were a little high, like a tiny bit. Some of his passes were a little low, but they were there. They were there. And, and the plays could have been made uh, on his passes. His receivers did have some drops and whatnot, but there was never a pass where you were like, oh, man, like, who, who was he throwing the ball to? Who, who was that for? You didn't see any of that. Lamar came out. He was decisive. That's one of the things. And that's, that's something that we had saw uh, from training camp, that he was just very decisive. He knew where he wanted to go with the ball, and if it was there, he would take it. If it wasn't there, then he'd move on. Uh, he even threw the ball away, too. I said, okay, now, Lamar. But a lot of times he was taking what the defense was giving him. Um, and you knew he just um, he, he wanted to push that ball downfield because that's Lamar. Lamar don't like all that little short, dinking, dunk type of stuff. Like, he'll do it a little bit, but he, he wanted them shots. He wanted to take them shots downfield, and we don't blame him. And early on, we were just wondering, man, why these dudes ain't pushing the ball downfield? They tried with he tried with Rashad Bateman, but early on it ain't work out. And with with Rashad Bateman, it was just he had a little slow start. He had a had a had a little rough start because um he had he had the drop. Uh, then he had the one way. It was looking like a catch. It's like all right, Lamar put it on, and Rashad Bateman caught it. But then the Jets defender knocked it out, and it was just a perfect defensive play. Um, so it, it was a slow start, but then, uh, Rashad Bateman, he got a little jealous. He got a little jealous of Devin Duvernay. <laughs> Devin Duvernay was like, look, man, the jet sweeps, that's cool and all, but I'm done with those, man. I'm done with those. Now, that first Lamar Jackson touchdown pass, uh, to Devin Duvernay, that was exactly like a lot of the stuff that they had been showing, uh, in a lot of those, uh, training camp and practice highlights. It was the exact same thing. Well, I know they showed more back shoulder stuff too, but it was the exact same thing. Back of the end zone, Duvernay with a def defender draped all over him. All over him. Duvernay was not wide open, but Lamar put it in the perfect spot. Duvernay went up and got it, and they made it happen. It, it was a beautiful play from Lamar, beautiful throw, beautiful catch from Devin Duvernay, and I loved it. I loved it. Y'all know my big thing this offseason was like, okay, hey, Get a proven receiver. Get a proven receiver, make Lamar Jackson's job easier. And while I still think they should have done that, all right, they didn't do it. So now, all right, let's see what these guys got. You're not going to go out and get somebody? So, all right, actually use what you have. Use what you have to the fullest. Maximize it. So with Devin DuVernay, yeah, he, he was maxed out today. And catching a touchdown was so nice that Lamar decided to throw it to him twice. And, he caught, and then now the second touchdown, he was like, eh, I don't, don't want to have a defender draped all over me, so I'm going to get open. And Lamar found him in the back of the end zone. It was beautiful. Beautiful. Um, but, yeah, Lamar, he was on point, man. He was on point. And then, of course, uh, Rashad Bateman, he saw them two touchdowns and was like, man, come on, man. Like, 
So then Lamar was like, I, I got you. And they tried the deep pass earlier. It didn't work, so they went back to it. Um, and this time they got it. And it was a, what, a 55-yard touchdown? So it's beautiful. It's beautiful to see. Lamar, um, the arm strength, that's something that was definitely evident. Um, but I felt like his release was a bit quicker. But when you're stronger, you, ha you, you can do less winding up to throw that deep pass. So, and Lamar's always had an arm, but now with him adding a little more what muscle, a little more strength, um, it, it just makes it easier to get that ball to push it downfield. Um, so, we saw that. Uh, when he, he, I think he only had like 19 yards rushing, which I had zero problem with. I had no problem with at all. Uh, Lamar wanted to pass that ball. He wanted to throw that ball. I mean, <laughs> he kind of had to. The Ravens couldn't run the ball for nothing today. But... You, you you could tell, man. And Lamar has said year after year after year, I want to pass the ball more. I don't feel like running the ball. And of course, we know he's still gonna get his with the rush with the running game. But he said he wants to throw the ball, uh, and he did that today. Did a good job of it. Now, um, with his rushing, there was one play where I was like, oh yeah, this is getting ready to be a sack. And he did he did get sacked. I think he got sacked maybe twice. Um, but there was one play where I was like, oh, yeah, this, this is going to be a sack. This play is going to be over. But Lamar made somebody miss, and then he made somebody else miss, and then he ran up the sideline, and I was like, oh, yeah, that boy, he, he, he still got it. Because I know a lot of people continue to question, uh, will he still have his speed? Will he still be as fast, as agile, as quick as he was when he came in at a lower weight? And Lamar showed you, yes. Yes, I still got it. And the thing, like, we, we only saw Lamar, like, running east and west. We didn't see him running much north and south like that. Um, so we didn't even get to see the straight line speed. I, I, I feel like, and I said this before, I don't think we've ever gotten to see Lamar at full, like, run full speed down the field. I, don't, I think the only time that I think we saw it was back in 2018 against the Raiders. Um, and I forgot it. Uh, yeah, it was in his uh, his second game as a starter. I think that's when we got to see it for, for a little bit on one play where he was running up the, the sideline on the right side of the field. But anyway, uh, we just haven't got to see it like that. Um, but anyway, with Lamar, yeah, he he, he looked good today. That that <laughs> that interception that he threw. <sighs> It's like, yeah, of course, we we as the fans, we get a little more upset at stuff like that. Because, like, man, you could have had three touchdowns and no interceptions. And I'm sure he's looking at that, too. But it, it wasn't the biggest of a big deal. It wasn't a big deal at all. But um, Demarcus Robinson, it, it could have that ball could have been placed a little more to the outside. Hey, Demarcus Robinson could have attacked it a little bit better. Um, but it is what it is. Again, this was sort of an extra preseason game. Uh, for the Ravens, just getting acclimated with each other, really getting it going. Um, offensive line, run blocking, <laughs> pass blocking. Because uh, there, there was some time with Lamar, that pocket was too clean. I was like, hold up, what what team are we watching? But then there were other times when Lamar would get hit, when he was throwing, he would get sacked, he, he would have to run out of the pocket and stuff like that. So the uh, run, run, run blocking. Was was bad uh, Pass blocking It was okay Definitely room for improvement But again Extended preseason game um, Jawan James Sucks for him Out for the year uh, It's just terrible man Yeah, You feel for him Because again He ain't played since 2019 He's had injury problems Injury issues And they came and resurfaced again In this game And now his season is over uh, so Ronnie Stanley, this this not necessarily puts even more pressure on Ronnie Stanley because I feel like there was already a lot of pressure on Ronnie Stanley to come back, but now it's like, hey Ronnie, hey we we need you more than ever now, uh, especially when you see when you saw that run game, Ronnie Stanley, guys like Nick Boyle. Um, speaking of offensive line, Patrick Ricard, um, and Patrick Ricard was out there a lot today, a whole lot. But, and I know a lot of people like upset, oh, what's 42 doing out there? What's Ricard doing out there? Why he out there so much on third down, da 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 But, hey, they ain't trust their offensive line. That's what Patrick Ricard's job was today, be an extra uh, offensive lineman. Straight, because, again, no Nick Boyle. Because, you know, he's, he's a tight end, but he's an extra offensive lineman. So, like, all right, next best thing, Pat Ricard. That's why he was out there so much. 
Just as our extra offensive lineman. Um, now, uh, when we think about the play calling and stuff, um, how it seemed to be a little bit limited, uh, I know it's easy to be like, oh, Giro this, Giro that. And, hey, if you do that, cool. If you don't, cool. But we got to remember about the weather, too. The weather played a big factor. A big factor. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Next week, I don't think weather should be an issue, but we'll see what the weather's like at M&T Bank Stadium for that Dolphins game. But we'll talk about that when we talk about it. Um, but, yeah, with the, as far as the, the, the running game, yeah, they could not get it going. Ken Drake, he was out there trying. I think maybe his longest run was maybe like – longest one I remember being like – Maybe like nine yards, maybe at the most like 12, something like that. But not, nothing crazy. He really couldn't get it going. Mike Davis, uh, <laughs> I just, boy, that, that boy, he, what, he had that carry. He broke. He broke. He was like, hey, I got something here. Pop. That ball went flying up. He fumbled. I said, oh, yeah. That's his last carry of the game. That's it. He's he's done. Um And... But thank goodness for Mike Davis because he recovered his own fumble. I thought that the Jets had it, but Mike Davis, he ended up recovering. Uh, so, and then the next play, Lamar Jackson threw the touchdown to Duvernay. So, Mike Davis ended up, he, he saved himself. Well, he saved the Ravens offense, who, ooh, boy, they needed some saving too because early on it was rough. It was rough, so slow, uh, lethargic, just um, a lot of shades of last year. Uh, oh, and another thing, too, back to Ravens offense and this sort of uh, coaching Lamar, Greg Roman thing all in one. They are still doing the same issue that they've been doing for years and getting the plays in late and getting late to the line of script, just late. So the play clock is at like five, four, three. There were at least at, at least three. Uh, times where that play clock hit zero and they snapped the ball and it should have been delayed of the game. It should have been at least three. It might have been more, but there was at least three, at least. Um, but the, the the referees were like, "Look, man, we we ain't trying to make this game go on any longer. It's raining. We trying to go home. Y'all just ride it out." But it was at least well, they could have called delay a game on the Ravens, but they didn't. They didn't. Um. But, yeah, so that's the offensive line. We talked about Lamar, the running backs. Uh, oh, Justice Hill. Justice Hill was in there a little bit, too. Um, had I know he had a nice catch where Lamar threw it a little bit low. Justice Hill adjusted to it and did everything that he possibly could to get a little bit of yak. And he got like two, three yards of yak, and he made a real nice play on it. So, um, J.K. Dobbins was definitely missed. Uh, but J.K. Dobbins, you definitely still don't want to rush him. Same with Ronnie Stanley. He was definitely missed, but you still definitely don't want to rush him. Nick Boyle was definitely missed, but you still don't want to rush him. Um, tight ends. Since, I mean, speaking of Nick Boyle. But to tight ends, uh, Mark Andrews had, he had a weird, quiet kind of game. He did make a couple plays. He had five catches for 52 yards. Probably the best play. You, you just see him and Lamar Jackson, their chemistry. Lamar Jackson gave him his opportunities. Sometimes it worked out, sometimes it didn't. But there was one, I want to say it was in the third quarter, uh, where Lamar snapped the ball, dropped back, got pressured, of course. <laughs> so he had to roll out from the pocket. And he was looking. First, Mark Andrews, he, I don't know what kind of route he ran, but he ran his route. Uh, then saw Lamar was in danger. And he was like, you know what, let me put on my little Superman cape and whatnot. So... He broke off his route, then headed upfield. Lamar threw it to him. He got behind the defender. Lamar put in the perfect spot. Mark Andrews with the, the slide and catch. Beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Uh, and you need that. You need guys that's not just going to be like, all right, I run my route and that's all I know to do. No. You need guys that stuff breaks down. All right, they break off of their route and go do something else. So that, again, that's why it's worked so well with Mark Andrews. That's why it works so well with Hollywood, too. Because those guys, they ain't just stick to the script. They were like, okay, it ain't working. Stuff broke down. Let me go do something else. And it's no coincidence why Lamar had the most chemistry with those guys. Um, so hopefully that continues to be built with uh, the guys who, who are there now. Um, Isaiah Likely. Ooh, Isaiah Likely. I think three drops today. Um, and, uh, yeah, three drops, I think. Well, now, one of them, I think the pass was maybe a little bit low, but... Yeah, three drops, and it was just 
Not the first game we expected from Isaiah Likely. Um, but hey, it's his first game. I ain't tripping about it. Um, he's a rookie. Maybe he had the jitters or whatnot, but it's it is what it is. Um, hopefully now the jitters are out. He played his first real NFL game, and hopefully he can go out there and do his thing. Um, but he is somebody who the Ravens obviously value because he was out there, and again he got his targets, but it just it ain't work out today. And it's, that's how it's gonna be sometimes. Sometimes it's gonna work out. Sometimes it's not. But I'm sure you know they'll keep trying. So this is not the end of Isaiah Likely. He's not a bust. He doesn't suck. He's not terrible. Cause you know a lot of people. It's week one. They ain't seen no real football in a long time. So a lot of people tend to overreact to different stuff. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. Um, Josh Oliver. He was just out there as a blocker a little bit. I didn't really see too much of him. Uh, and yeah, that would be the tight ends. Wide receivers. We talked about Rashad Bateman already. Um, we talked about Devin Duvernay already. Uh, James Prochet was out there. A couple snaps. Didn't really see him too much. Uh, didn't have any targets go his way. Uh, Demarcus Robinson, he had a couple of catches. He made his catches. He, he drew the pass interference call deep down the field that set up the first Duvernay touchdown, I believe. Um... So, yeah, he did his thing. And then, of course, there was the interception that was intended for Demarcus Robinson. Uh, well, Lamar gave him that jump ball opportunity. So, yeah, that was it for the wide receivers. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's, that was the whole offense. That was the offense. Um, special teams, Justin Tucker, point after touchdowns. Yeah, you know how it goes. The field goal, it's just Justin Tucker. Yeah, he Justin Tucker. Um, Jordan Stout. He looked his part. He looked the part. Uh, he did his thing with putting the uh, the Jets in bad territory. Bad territory for them. Good for the Ravens. Um, and yeah, some special teams, they were smooth. Oh, offensive line. I got to go back to offensive line real quick because it's just reminded me of it. Because I was thinking of Nick Moore, and that reminded me of him snapping the ball to like to uh, to for Justin Tucker's kicks. So that reminded me of Tyler Linderbaum snapping the ball. He had a couple of high snaps. Now, they worked out, um, but there was one where he snapped, and it looked like it was a, a timing route, a, a timing play. He snapped the ball, and it was high, and then as soon as Lamar had, had reached up and got it and threw it, it was just off, and the play was just, like, messed up from jump, from the snap. Um, so, yeah, got to work on those a little bit. But, again, this is their preseason. This is their preseason. At least he ain't snapped nothing over Lamar's head. He ain't snapped nothing out, out, of, out of left field or whatever. No. But there was a couple that was a little bit high. But, again, nothing too crazy. So, that was that. And then there was that one play where, ooh, he just got completely pushed to the side by, I think, Quentin Williams. Um, like, literally, like, whoo, tossed to the side. But, again, it's a, he's a rookie. It's a work in progress. So, again, but overall, he, he did his thing. And, again, from especially from the center position, I think all the Ravens really need is just consistency because they haven't had consistency at the center position for a long time. So now with Tyler Linderbaum, they got him for at least the next five years. You just get, get some consistency. They should be good to go. Um, but, yeah, that's offense, special teams, defense. Ooh, where do we start? Um, the pass rush, the pressure. We saw pressure and pass rush all preseason. And some people were thinking, oh, man, what? This is just preseason. This ain't going to be real. No, it, it was real. It was real. Justin Houston, he had him a day. That boy was all over Flacco all day. Uh, Broderick Washington, he got him a sack. Matter BK. Oh, Justin Matter BK. That boy showed out. I guess this was the Justin day. Justin Houston, Justin Matter BK. He showed out. And th that's the matter, BK, that we've been waiting on. And it's crazy because with him, um, he's shown us like little flashes here and there, but just there had been a lack of consistency. And maybe it was because he was on and off the field and whatnot, doing a lot of rotate, but he was out there today and he made his name be known. Loved it. So matter, BK, he looked the part. He did his thing. There's, there was one tackle where he made on a running back. He tackled him like he was a linebacker. So he got off the D-line. He ran over to him. Wow. I said, okay, man, BK, we see you, baby. Uh, but he, he looked great. 
great in that game. Calais Campbell, he got in on it too. He was he I think he sacked Flacco once too, I believe. But yeah, they they were all over Flack. They were all over Flack. Now, um, well, we'll get into the secondary in a little bit. We'll work our way back. Um, so yeah, defensive line, they they pass rush, they did their thing. And the run defense Overall, I think it was pretty good. They did give up a couple of nice little runs here and there, but for the most part, uh, they held it down. Um, Josh Vines, I saw him a little bit, didn't really notice him too much, though. But um, Patrick Queen, in my opinion, this game against the Jets was Patrick Queen's best game ever as a, as a Raven. Best game ever. And that that is not not an overreaction. I mean, trying to hype it up, but no. But it this was Patrick Queen's best game ever as a Raven. Best game ever in the NFL. Um, my favorite play from him it came when um, I don't remember when it was, but I, I believe it was a third down. But the running back, the running, it was him and the running back. That was it. Flacco threw the ball to the running back, and this play. On this play, nine times out of ten, even if it's a great tackler, a great corner, great linebacker, whatever, they missing this tackle because the running back is it's open field. It, it was a Patrick Queen and, and Jets running back. That's it. And the running back, he could easily turn, make, make a couple moves, and he would have all this open space. But Patrick Queen did not let him go. He tackled him in the open field. It was such a great play, such a beautiful play, man. I loved it. And Patrick Queen was flying around today. Flying around. And he was blitzing. He got he got him a sack too, I believe. And he, he was all over everything, man. Patrick Queen was flying around the field. But he was doing it with confidence. So under this new defense, hey, we'll see. Now we just gotta see consistency. But this was an excellent start for Patrick Queen. Excellent start for Patrick Queen. Loved it. There was a play or two where he blew it up in the backfield and he didn't make the whole tackle, but somebody came in and cleaned it up. But Patrick Queen, he was on it today. So let's hope that this continues uh, moving forward because this, this is a great start for him for the season. Um, who else? Let's, let's go to the secondary. Marlon Humphrey. Uh, Pretty quiet game overall. He did get one uh, illegal contact. Where it was like, oh, okay, I get the call, but I, it, it was a, because he like the the receiver was running and they passed the five yards. And Marlon Humphrey sort of gave him a little shoulder. Um, so I was like, okay, I, I get it, I get the call. But pretty quiet game. Um, he did get the fumble recovery that Chuck Clark knocked out. Uh, so that was nice. Um, but yeah, quiet game from him, so that was cool. Uh, who else? Kyle Fuller. He's out probably for the year too, but we'll see. But Kyle Fuller, he uh, he had to get a little more playing time uh, because of Marcus Peters' injury. Um, and he was all right. He had some good stuff. He had some bad stuff, um, and everything in between. Brandon Stevens. Oh man, um, he had a really nice pass breakup. I forgot which receiver it was on. But I think it was like a comeback route, and Brandon Stevens, like, stuck with it. He stuck with it. Oh, it was Elijah Moore. That's who it was. Um, it was a great throw by Flacco. Great route by Elijah Moore. But even greater play by Brandon Stevens because he stuck with it, knocked, <laughs> knocked it out, and he, he finished the play. Um, and it was real important. Uh, what else? Geno Stone was out there off and on. Chuck Clark, he had a solid game. Made some nice tackles. He, he, I think he missed a couple too, but um, he had a solid game. Kyle Hamilton was out there. Uh, he was solid as well. Missed, I, mean, I think he missed at least one tackle. But um, it's all right. Uh, he again rookie, first real NFL game. Um, and yeah, this this is real. These these count now. Uh, who else am I missing in the secondary? Jalen Amore Davis, he was out there a little bit. I didn't really notice uh, how or what he did. Um, Pepe, I didn't see Pepe Williams out there. I thought we were going to see him, especially when they were like, oh, Marcus Beat is not playing today. Um, but didn't, didn't see him. Uh, oh, Marcus Williams. Marcus Williams, man. I'm tripping. 
Marcus Williams, um, he almost he dropped one interception that he should have had, but even if he would have caught it. It's like his hands just knew, like, oh, man, we ain't got to catch this because it's not going to count. Because that's when they called, I think that might have been a penalty on, on Marlon Humphrey, that play. But whatever it was, it was a penalty on that play where he dropped the pick. So it was like, okay, thanks for not hurting our hearts because if you would have caught that pick, then that would have hurt us even more. But then a couple drives later, he ended up catching a pick. Uh, and Ravens, they, they, the defense did their thing. They did get bailed out a lot too, man. You got you to gotta be honest about it. They did get bailed out a lot, too, because those Jets receivers, they had some drops on the Marcus Williams interception. Uh, I think it was Corey Davis that slipped. Uh, he just he, he slipped and fell. Uh, but shout out to Marcus Williams taking advantage. Of that, and that's what you got to do. Even if you're getting bailed out, even if the, the opposing offense, they dropping passes or whatever, it's up to you to take advantage of that. You still got to take advantage. You, you ain't going to be like, all right, well, old man, you guys are dropping passes. We feel sorry for you. Oh, man, do you want us to help you with that? No, you got to take advantage of it. And, and the Ravens did. So good job by them. But overall, this game, um, the slow start, you, that cannot be a consistent thing this year uh, because you got uh, other teams that are not going to start slow. Like the Jets, they... Like, Garrett, Garrett Wilson, he, he going to be nice. He going to be nice. Elijah Moore, he's he, he nice already, too. But Garrett Wilson, he, he going to be nice. Um, some of their players that stood out to me um, were those two. But Sauce Gardner, that guy, I, I love his attitude. I love his demeanor. I love that just his energy, man. I loved it. Loved it. Because he, like, there was one play in particular. Well, Lamar Jackson, oh, for Mark Andrews. It was intended for Mark Andrews, and Sauce was, he was covering Mark Andrews. He was covering, like, different people. He wasn't just sticking to one side or one position. No, he was moving around. And there was one play he was on Mark Andrews, and he stuck with him. And he, Mark Andrews went for it, and Sauce got his hands up at the perfect time. It was just such a great play. And Jets, their defense made some nice plays. Um, Jermaine Johnson had a nice sack. On Lamar Jackson, he where he just beat uh, Morgan Moses from jump. He beat him from jump and got the sack. Um, so Jets, they uh they they got some players over there, man. They do. Uh, it's just about putting it all together and just getting a couple more players. And shout out to C.J. Mosley over there. Yeah, we see you, big dog. But yeah, man, that was that. So the first game, again, it's like an extended preseason game because a lot of guys just getting acclimated to each other and whatnot, getting in the, the flow of a, a regular season game. So it was a process, but they did get the process going enough to where they could run, not necessarily even run the scoreboard up because they ain't, they ain't scored that many points. They, they scored, a, what they scored, 24? Because Lamar threw three touchdowns and they got a field goal. So what was it, 24-9, I think? Whatever the score was, but they they did their thing. Um, eventually, it took them a little while, but they they finally got it going. Uh, so yeah, hopefully this is the, the the first win of many for the Ravens, and we'll see how this season goes. Um, I, I talked about how with Lamar Jackson, we we're talking about it during the stream. His energy just it didn't seem like it was there early on. It just seemed like he was like he was just playing it super cool, just super 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 chill, like extra chill. More chill than normal to me. Um, but he was still he, he's still getting that job done. And that's that's what it's about. Just making sure. So whether you hype, whether you're happy and smiling, jumping around, or whether you're just playing it cool, as long as you're getting the job done, that's the biggest thing that matters. So anyway, team, keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you for everything. And we out. <laughs>